gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Gibbons vs. James. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Riley Morse. <laughs> that's James, this is Damien, and I'm absolutely sticking with that intro. Yep, yep, <laughs> let's do it. So, we're playing Charterstone. Mm -hmm. Now, we play... Me and Damien have very briefly played... Well, actually, all three of us have briefly mm. played Gloomhaven, mm. um, which we really should get back to playing. Yes. You've played Risk Legacy. Yes. And that's our introduction to Legacy Games. Now, as part of a upcoming competition where... Have you played no other Legacy Games none. either? Of you? Literally none. No. <laughs> as part of an upcoming competition in which we will be designing a Legacy Game for the Game Crafter, where, like, oh, God, we should probably play some more Legacy Games. We By the this. name of... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. No, we don't have a name. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Geary Turney thing. Yeah. Um, Spoilers! This is how this video is going to go, apparently. Sorry, it's I'm the second mood. video of the day, and it's yep. starting to settle in. Mm. Okay, uh, so we've had this sitting on the shelf for a while. We might have released the unboxing video. I'll check before I release this one. So, <laughs> Even we if are... He hasn't, then no, we sorry. are just going to go through it. Damien has very briefly watched a video that gives him some idea of how to play. Me and James have no feffing idea. So in um, other words, Damien cheated. If he wins, that's why. Mm. Um, but also, a lot of the instructions on how to do stuff is actually in the cards. Apparently the setup well. is part of the game. So, we have to draw card one. Yep. Okay. So, there is like 700 yeah. cards in there, and it is real gross. And we have to read every single one of them, slowly and methodically. Slowly, in perfect grammar, and out loud. Damien. <coughs> Jeez. Okay. Um, so, the immortal forever king has selected six citizens of Green I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just go over the immortal forever king and not, like, give that a little bit of... That shit sounds like a dictatorship. I'm mm. sorry. I don't yeah. like his... The not... immortal... I, that, that's, some, that's some dude that definitely named himself. Yeah. <laughs> So, yep. so I, I, yep. I'm just saying, at the end of this, we need to go on a quest to um, the kill the immortal, immortal forever, forever king, king. Yep. And, and usurp him. <laughs> yeah, um, this has a really dark expansion, <laughs> where essentially it turns into Gloomhaven or Kingdom Death Monster. <laughs> Christ. Oh, God. Okay. It, it, it actually becomes Risk, where your tribes are fighting his. <laughs> you good? You good? We're good to We're go? Not. We're not good? Yeah. Okay. It's a three-part series. <laughs> It's like Spore. <laughs> you go through this stage, then you go through the tribe war, and it ends in a big heroic campaign. All right, I'm done. Mm. The immortal Forever King has selected... <laughs> Why would you say that again? <laughs> six citizens of Green Gully to start a new village uh, far from the Eternal City. Sorry, who decided we should do this? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Keep going. The Immortal Forever King does not appreciate your folly. <laughs> Wait a minute, is it Damien? What's Damien implying here? Because <laughs> I've got a mighty quest to slay Damien. <laughs> Alright. Okay, your goal is to bring the greatest glory to the Forever King so you may rule the village in his name. Does anyone have the Russian national, Ooh. like the Soviet Russian national anthem? Because, <laughs> good lord. <laughs> glory to Mother um, Russia and all that. Uh, we bring glory mouse. to the Forever King. Uh, mouse. You okay. need to click the button because the mouse will not be on. Thank you. Okay, so, um, unfold the game board either side. Yep, wow, cool, good. check. Uh, and put the objective mat and advancement mat next to the board. Uh, uh, objective, uh, advancement. Okay. Um, so locate and open the chronicle rule book. Uh, peel the sticker oh. off uh, this card and affix it to the indicated space. Page Wait, six. it's a fucking sticker? Yeah. yeah. Lol? Where does it go? Page, Page six. six, so it's story one. Mm. Uh, then place this card... Um, literally there. Literally there. Uh, this card remnant in the archive. Uh, you'll do this for all story and rule. Oh, I'm going to fuck up this so someone else put the sticker on. <laughs> put on 100% like I'd put... <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Still in my jokes. You bastard. Okay, let's... Is that the person who bought the game put the stickers on? Yeah. Bam! Attachment. Uh. Uh. Stop it! <laughs> Immortal Forever King. Good <laughs> fucking lord. Immortal Forever King. <laughs> okay, cool. Damien, that's off center. Lined up with the marker on the outside. 
Okay, so extract card two from the index. Oh my god, if it's story two, it is. Fuck's sake, it's another step. Yeah. Why don't you just... Wait, is this just the rules for setup? Is that what this is? The story <laughs> is the setup? It's like 27 individual stickers. Okay, um, so this goes into the archive. Uh, so that's there so that if we get the recharge pack, we can easily tell what we've used. Okay, so the sun is setting as you venture outside. The location is a lush landscape of rolling hills, patches of trees, and a babbling brook. The guards unload a number of mysterious crates and forbid you to open them, uh, open any of them except for the one labelled Scriptorium. Open it now. All hail the Forever King. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've won! <laughs> Bow down to our new okay, Forever so King overlords. Okay, so the tuck box uh, is where you'll store the global components for uh, from game to game. During these, uh, during the game, these global components, along uh, with advancement cards, form the general supply. Um, and they are all limited as follows. So we've got 36 yeah, coins, dude. 72 resource tokens, 12 of each. So our resources are metal, grain, wood, coal, clay, and pumpkin. Pumpkin! <laughs> <laughs> Why not just food? Because pumpkin. Um, sure. And we already have grain. grain. Yeah. Um, so we that... have one charter stone, which is the dice. So what we know, what we know from this is the Forever King's a pumpkin spice latte man. That's, that's what we've learned. Yeah. Right, alright. Um, and then so pumpkin we've got... pie. Honestly, just like all, like pumpkin pie, especially because you got grain and pumpkin put yeah. together. You get pumpkin pie. Uh, so uh, we've got one progress token, which is a little wispy blue droplety thing. Yep. Uh, and we've got four plastic bags, which. Yep. This is this is a. Um, the Stone Meyer game. We get lots of bags. Right? Yeah, lots of bags everywhere. <laughs> just plastic bags for everyone. Okay. And so, because the first story told me that this is going to always just um, get stuck down, I will stick this down. Oh. It's literally... How many stories? 17 stories of setup? Was that what I was looking for? Nope. It won't be 17 stories of setup. Um, what do you and there's 18 do? spots here. The clicker. Clicker? What have you done? I don't know. It's alright! Moving on! <laughs> Why, James? Why? Why? I can't have moved it there! Alright, cool. Moving on. I didn't move it there, so it must this have is, been you. This is what we have on the board. Right? Okay, and at the end of these, uh, when you pull, peel the sticker off, it actually has more right. things. So, uh, extract card three. So let's go extract card three. It's going to be a long setup. <laughs> at least okay. you know the sun's setting. <laughs> Get a bed soon. Okay. <laughs> so, the group gathers around a large rock. You recognise it as a charter stone, just like the one at the centre of the Eternal City. Mm. Oh, okay, hang on a second. The Immoral Forever King lives in the Eternal City? Yeah. Oh, this is getting better and better. <laughs> you know I'm making a Pathfinder campaign around this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, you're DMing one at the moment. I'm next. So the villagers are divided into, uh, divided into six charters, um, each with six hexagonal plots, so that's those... Um, each player should now adjust their seating position to permanently select their charter. Uh, claim your charter chest, like. the box um, uh, with your charter emblem. Uh, the text on it will uh, be explained later. Then open it to reveal these components. Um, so, uh, we need to choose what charter we're going to be using. I'm going to bid this one because it's blue and looks like a musical note. Wait, do each of us choose one? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm oh. gonna grab. What? Oh, I came. I was in the last. No. Um. 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 It looks like a treble clef, almost. Purple. Okay. Okay. We need purple, blue, and yellow. Did you two want to swap seats at all? Musical chairs? No. 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 You're all happy with? Yeah. Them? I want red. No, purple. I'm sticking with purple. Purple. Right. Purple is your final answer. Purple is my final answer. Done. Or is it my final question? Oh my god. Dun dun dun. So we're allowed to open these? Okay, so oh, each player should uh, claim your charter chest. The box uh, will contain your charter emblem. Uh, the text on it will be explained later. Then open it to reveal these components. Right, so the those things are your influence, and then you have your two meeples and your probably your victory points tracker? Yes. 
Okay. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Extract cards 200 to 205 from the index and match them with each player. Enjoy that, Damien. Have fun. 200. You! What? 201. <laughs> oh, 202. Hell? 203. Oh, if You're I'd known there were going to be characters. Oh, You're come on, I'm an old granny. granny. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> no, I don't want to be blue. Granny. What's You're black? What's black? It's too late, you've opened your thing. Oh, black's no better. <laughs> They're all old grannies. Oh, dear. Oh, what the hell? The Forever King uh, is getting his are... lard ass servants off their. <clears throat> I'm purple. Look at them! That guy. Oh, that's. That's a man. That's what that is. <laughs> you look like the Pillsbury Dough Boy. Yep. I think the Sorry. best one is red. Yeah. The uh, red and green are the only tolerable ones. <laughs> God damn. All right. Okay. Sure. Uh, uh, so each player names their persona right on the card. So you've got a little space oh, above it. Oh yes. Oh no. You guys fucked uh, up. See, see, this is this is MMO. This is gonna be like oh, chuckle fuck for second. Legacy okay. games are not for us, dude. We, we enjoy nonsense way too so much. So everyone, everyone's happy with their stuff? Yeah, to hell with it. God damn it. Alright, so the next hour of the stream is going to be naming the characters. That guy's going to be called Chunk Funkin. Chunk Funkin. <laughs> Ew. Oh. oh, God. Dumb shit like Granny Smith. <laughs> Chunk Thankin? Funkin. If you. Oh, honey. <laughs> Don't try and fix it. No. Oh, no. Quick, white out. It could be Chunk Thankin. <laughs> That's so much worse. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna go Granny Smith. No, no, no one's actually sure whether it's Funkin or Thankin, but. <laughs> Your handwriting shit. Look at this bullshit. No, because I tried. That was me taking my time and writing well. You should, I, I literally That was write, me taking my time and writing well. <laughs> I write like a doctor, dude. If I'm not taking my time, I write like a damn doctor. Oh, God. Oh. Cursive, tra like, cursive lessons ruined me. Granny Smith. Granny Smith. You know what, what do you name that? <laughs> you know what I just thought? They, they've got fuck. What do they call them in fucking MLP? <laughs> um, the fucking marks they get on them. <laughs> it's like that. You name them something dopey. <laughs> All right. Oh god. <sighs> Granny Smith apples only good apples. Um... That's a lie. Any apples are good apple, except for people who eat green apples are weird. Red apples are so much better. Um, what are we going to think of that? that old Colonel Mustard? mustard. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm tempted to call him Long John and then just like pirate up one of his legs. <laughs> Give him an eye patch and a parrot, please God. <laughs> what? Uh, He's got 
silver hair, right? <laughs> right, okay. Well, I don't you, know. You don't want him to have a, 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 a peg leg? I don't, mate, it's up to you! <laughs> You're the artist, not us. If you want to maul one of your cards like that, sure. <laughs> Oh god! Do it, Long John, and you have. He has to have an eye patch, a peg leg, and a parrot. Um, he's even got a hand. The parrot can be perched on. It's perfect. <laughs> no, it needs to be morph. Oh my god! <laughs> no. Yes, from Treasure Planet. Yeah. Yeah, um, just come on. Let's, no, let's but you know, it needs maybe. to. Be, it needs to. You can have Long John, but it needs to be like Long John, John something. Like Long John Silver, but like Long like, John Copper, or I mean Long John Wrinkles. It's old. Just Long John. Just come on, please God. <laughs> they call him Long John. His wife loves him. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh God, you don't need to do the art now. Three hours later. God damn it. Okay. Wicked, wicked, wicked. God damn it, Damien. And that will progress each time. Okay, so now, so this goes on to story three. Oh my god, it's literally gonna be like the team set up stickers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's okay, I have Chunk Funkin' now. Everything's <laughs> better with Chunk Funkin'. Chunk Fankin'. Because you fucked Funkin. up and somehow spelt it wrong. <laughs> it's a U! You can see it's a U! Okay, we're taking a card U. four. And I believe that's up to Riley now. Alright. When the gods... When the gods leave, you scout your charter for your first charter building. The village will rely on access to basic resources to survive, grow, and prosper. Extract cards 5 to 10 from the index and give each player the card that matches their charter. These cards feature basic resource buildings where players will place workers to gain one of the indicated resources. Each player removes the building sticker from the corresponding card and fixes it permanently to any plot in their charter. Buildings must be oriented in the same way as all other buildings on the board. Uh, each player keeps their constructed building card face up in front of them as they'll need it later. Oh, that. What have we got? We just chunk funk can get. Please tell me pumpkins. Please tell oh, me I pumpkins. Oh, I got a cave. Hell yes. Oh, God, you do. Oh, no, 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 yes! No, 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 it's chunk funk in the pumpkin fella! Yes! <laughs> the chance of that is so infinitesimally small. <laughs> You're far more happy than you should be about this. So this is Charterstone episode one, the adventures of Chunk Funkin. Yeah. Yeah. Chunk Funkin, Long John, and Granny Smith. Chunk Funkin, the true immortal king. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't worry. We will all support your claim. Yep. Oh god, I can't breathe. I'm so red. You should have seen me earlier, dude. Oh I was beat God. red. When you first did Chunk Funk and I was crying with laughter, dude. Oh, I'm in the mirror. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot! You <laughs> <laughs> to be there! I got so this. this is why you, you rearrange your seating. To... I got this. Oh, Oops. God, we should not be allowed to play Legacy Games. No, no, we oh should God, not. How do you do this without bending your card? Uh, you don't. You just bend it as little as yeah. possible. <sighs> alright. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. So, and this just uh, goes so anywhere in our section, yeah. doesn't it? So the, are you sure that's your section? Okay. Yeah? Yes, just double checking. We not want anyone to fuck it up. <laughs> wow, really? You mauled your card, dude. What the hell? Ugh. Oh, sorry, like, you're a savage. Um, now... Keep them in front of you. Uh, this is that a spot here? This is mine, yeah. Chunk pumpkin. Pumpkin farmer. The chances of that are so stupidly small. It's beautiful, I know. It upsets me. Okay. Um, each player keeps their constructed building card. Plex 
He's up in front of them, and uh, they'll need it later. And then Damien? Mm hmm. Stick up. Stick up. And what do we need from that? And then card 11. Why is mine? So I'll do the next three and James can do the next three and we'll just keep going. Fewer than six players. Are we meant yes. to have put these mm. on? Yes. Yep. Why? What's that mean? Um, that's because these can still be used in the game itself. So you don't get rid of this card. Regardless of the number of human players in any given game of Charterstone, there are always six founding villages, each operated by a diff operating a different charter. A charter not controlled by a player is called an inactive charter, but it's still very much part of the growing game. If there are fewer than six players, affix each of the remaining building sticker to a plot in the indicated inactive charters. Place their constructed building card on the advancement map for now. Place their... Uh, on... Yep, on one of those plots. On the advance. Yep. Uh, no, the card goes there, the sticker yeah. still goes down. Yep. Fire. Fire, fire. Morse Hunter. Yeah. Always red. It makes you look so yeah, sh one. Shut the fuck up, James. Do this one right there. Shut up, James! Okay, um, well, let's put the forest you know, inside the lines. It's crooked, it's crooked, it's crooked. You're a monster. Put your card up there. Mistake. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> the game will soon introduce a way for inactive charters to grow, but if at any time you would like these charters to act like human players, read, use the. Please read and use the automata rulebook, which we'll do another game. Yeah. This is necessary for solo games. We recommend that two plus player games only consider automata after game one or two. Okay. Oh, sure. In that case, sticker. Sticker. That's still story. Okay. I don't know why they couldn't have just had this in the back of the book. If there's no variation on it. Like um, really. sorry. Just one thing. Can we name <sighs> our. Probably coming up in another card. Oh no. What's this? Can you name your town? Probably. <laughs> because there's... Yeah. 12. Yep. Extract cards 206 to 218 from the index. Place 206, the... 207, yep. 208. To 218. Oh! 9, 10, 11. Eighteen. 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 Place the eight oh. assistant cards on the advancement map. I assume that's yep. those. So are, the, are these meant to go there? Uh, no. No. They're meant to be the advancement map as well. That's just, I think that's meant to be a pile like that, right? Yeah, I think they all get shuffled in at some point. Yes, they do. And the five objective cards on the objective map. You'll soon shuffle the cards on each of the mats into their respective decks. Open the Chronicle and proceed with the setup instructions. Then, for players who haven't read the rules in advance, explaining a pl explain a player turn, Rule 15, the Buildings in the Commons, Rule 17, the Cloud Port, Rule 22, and the Reputation Track, Rule 23. When you're ready to begin Game 1, extract card 13 from the Index, place this card in the Archive without removing the sticker. Okay, that one goes Archive without removing the sticker. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> Victoria. Uh, so we've got all the stuff. Do you want to get them out of the baggies? No, this is these are important to keep with us. Oh, are they? yeah. This is like our school oh, yeah. throughout the and whole thing. And we right. probably want to keep the scriptorium over here. So, how much of everything does everyone get again? Uh, so uh, it's all just in the general supply. We get four bucks to start with. All oh, right. Oh my god, these coins are so satisfying. They're full-blown, like, weighty metal. And I know we've done the unboxing. God, they're gorgeous. Yeah. Listen to that sound. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
full. I don't need my coins up with all these pumpkins. <laughs> three full. Okay. Um. So before game one, the general supply should contain thirty-six coins, in which you tell you uh, and five random face-up achievement cards on the mat. Extra cards form a face-down deck. Now, um. So I believe so that those these. ones are actually shuffled in. Oh, flip these. Over the back. Yes. Oh, weird. Are you sure um, these? Uh, no, because they're ours. They would. We were told to keep them there, and yeah. then the others were told to put on that mat. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, so five random face-up uh, advancement cards on the mat. Sure. Okay. Okay. Whenever you use the market, you may gain one reputation. After you use, the, you use the Charterstone building, gain two victory points. Whenever you use the treasury, you may regain one of your influence tokens from the general supply. Whenever you what you gain your influence? Use the treasury. You regain one of your influence from the general supply. And so if you, we get that, we get them? Mm -hmm. May I? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I believe... So let's just maybe you just get what's up top there, the crates. So that story that we added in for um, face they constructed cards on the invent invent now. Granny Smith have an iron mine. <laughs> yeah, so I, um, she decided the when, when the Eternal King decided pumpkin was the fruit of the realm. She decided to go into slave labor, <laughs> go into the mines. Pumpkin is a vegetable. Food of the realm, whatever. <laughs> Seeing as apparently it's that and grain. I like grain. Um, That's it, pumpkin pie. Is there anything anyone eats? I they constructed building cards on the advancement mat for now. Yeah, well, I mean, if they're being placed on the mat itself... Um, like there Does is it say shuffle? So, that rule you were reading earlier, does it say to shuffle that and deal five out? Um, it says, and five random face-up advancement cards on the mat. So, no, there's no mention of shuffling. But it does say random. Mm. Yeah. I'm, but when I saw the setup video, I'm pretty sure that that's what they were doing. Alright, alright. Let's maybe stop playing with the metal coins so <laughs> the, the audience doesn't try to kill themselves. Stuff that in your box. Mm. Cool. Okay, what's next? Uh, we're going through this. Um, so, there is no guide post in game one. Uh, a progress token. Little blue wavy thing. Like that. Um, uh, on the space of the progress track, so there'll be a three player thing. On there. the three player? Yeah. Yep. And Why does it go past six player? Oh. Maybe you go backwards. Where's the dice? Roll it. Yep. Determine the Roll first it. player by rolling the Charterstone. Purple. Nope. Yeah. Yes. You. Junk Funkin's going first. You go first. first. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then it's clockwise from that. Um, uh, place your Persona card constructing two. Uh, place your Persona card uh, constructed. Building card, two, two workers and two influence tokens in front of you. Two influence tokens. You mean twelve? Ah, uh, twelve. Two workers and two influence. Uh, 
the 12 inch vertices. Um, Our boss is having a stroke, too. Yep. Mm. yep. Um, place your VP. <laughs> okay, um, place your VP token on the zero VP spot. Okay. You're the only one that hasn't done that. Yeah, you're well behind, Damon. Yeah, get I know. good. Ah. Get good. Mine stands out. Okay. Um, okay, so for game one, each player starts with four bucks. Cool. Okay, then we were told to look at 17 for the basic rules. I think so. Um, so, a few buildings were constructed and in a... 15 and all that. Play a turn. Okay, uh, so rule 15. On your turn, you must either A, place a worker from your personal supply onto a building on the board, or B, retrieve all of your workers from the board. There are no difference between your workers. Really, guys? Okay, so... I feel like they definitely lied to us. Yeah. Uh, whenever you place... A worker used the building once by following these steps in order. So, occupied buildings. If you place your worker on an occupied building by another worker, uh, yours or an opponent's, bump or return uh, that worker back to its player. So, kind of like what we saw in Dice Forge. Yeah. Cool. Except they don't get a bonus for it. Yeah. What's um, the so Sorry, I didn't... Um, so, if someone... Uh, if I'm here and you'll go there... That returns to me. So I guess technically I'd be able to continue placing mm -hmm. things and earning things without having to spend a turn to recall them all. Yeah. And so if you were just going to go, hey, you know what, I'm just going to sit on the farm here and get stuff, yep. um, you could do that indefinitely. Although it'd be kind of boring. Because you can return your own. To right, them. okay. Place. Okay. Uh, cost. So pay the cost, bottom left of a building, uh, from your personal supply to the general supply. If you can't pay the cost, you can't place a worker um, there or here. So... You have to be able to do it to be able to go there. Yep. Uh, and then benefit, you gain all or part of the benefit uh, upper right um, of the building. Uh, coins and resources are finite. So that means that if we run out of stuff... Can we get those out of baggies, please? How dare you, sir. <laughs> um, and even, I need. even if you just chuck all the baggies over here uh, and keep them out of the way, because they'll probably just be very much in the way. Baggies. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's essentially the worker placement right. uh, rules for this. So, the commons. Um, rule 17. A few buildings were constructed in advance of your arrival. They are clustered in the middle uh, of the village area called the commons. The commons include the following buildings. Uh, the zeppelin, uh, where you can pay three influence tokens plus four resource, uh, resources shown in the upper left of the building card to construct one building um, in your charter. Um, so, charter stone, pay $4 uh, and two influence tokens to unlock a crate um, on a constructed building card. Mm -hmm. uh, so, constructed buildings, I believe, are the ones that have the stickers removed. Right. Um, and so, uh, we get access to the like these ones that we've got, and then we can also pick up ones over there to get access to more right. crates. Right, okay. And what are the crates? Are they actually a box we open? Uh, so... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we'll, we'll get to that okay. at time. Sure. Um, so, we've got the grandstand. So, place one influence token on an objective card uh, you've completed to score five victory points. Um, uh, treasury, pay any one resource to gain one dollar. Uh, and the market, pay any one resource to gain, uh, uh, pay any one resource and one dollar to gain one card from the advancement mat. Um, it says face down or face up here, mm -hmm. but in the video that I watched it said that um, it is only face up. Right. For now. Possibly. There might okay. be stuff later on. That yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, cool. Uh, and then there's like unlocking crates, objective cards and stuff like that. Um, but I suppose we'll get to those as we come to them. Um, uh, some of the things as well that I heard on the video was uh, these are a finite sort of thing. Yes, if they run, I read that if they yep. run out, you don't can't take those actions anymore. Yep, uh, and it actually progresses that faster, I believe. Yeah, if you've run out of them, it um, sure. scales it up. So uh, what do we? Where, where do these go? Sorry. 
put, you, put you spend them. So yeah, anything with that symbol, you spend. Oh. And if you run out of them, you run out. Yeah, there are ways to get them back from the supply, but you can't take them back from the board. So uh, you can place them over here um, to get reputation, and you get victory points at the end, depending on whoever has the most there. Right. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you can take them back from the supply, you can't take them off the board. Okay. Sure. Cool, so James is up first then, right? Yep. <laughs> so you're getting a pumpkin, the right? The pressure! Because you're chunk funkin'. What's, what are the, what's the bag, sorry? Resource of any type. Yeah, any, any sort of resource. Right, so you go to treasury, you get one resource, two, one, right. You, you trade one resource for one. Coin. And this, you get one of these. Yes. You just pick them up. Yeah. Yeah, give me a pumpkin, baby. Pumpkin! That chunk funkin'. Um, so, let me just see, so, um, no one's got a building yet, I'm just seeing, uh, so the crate, the charter stone, Probably is the, that, the little one's called Plump Funkin. God damn it, James. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the charter stone there, let me just portals and two influence tokens to unlock a crate I'll construct a building card I use the crate. Um, so that's four dollars and oh no. uh, to unlock a crate now what does the number up there mean so I actually saw ah oh, right right yeah, yeah crate six gain those cards Okay, um, I, I'm wondering, do I want to go straight to that so that I know what I'm doing? Sure, go for it. Um, so, that, this is yep. probably a horrible mistake. Take all my money. How do we earn money? You can trade in resources. Okay. Resources for money. So, all of that, that goes away. Peasant. And now I get number six. So 109, 110, and 314. So it's, what, how do you know what crate you get? Um, it's it's got a number. number on there. So you'd get crate one. Yeah, so it's not, okay. you, get, it's not you get one crate, because that would be awesome. <laughs> um, batteries so 109, 110, batteries, batteries running low on the computer. That's okay. That's all right. Um, that, we, it's, yeah. Okay. Uh, so 108, 109, no, 109 and 110. 110? Yeah. There's that many cards, right? And 314. Well, good for you. Probably should check that out. James. You're the one who's hogging it. 314. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. Well, at least I know what I've got to be getting. What the shit? So, now I've got those. So, pay the cost indicated on the charter stone. Benefit, refer to the... Uh, to the channel which component you get. get five Gain victory five points, victory right? points. Yep. Um, advance the progress bit, bit, bit. token. Um, and place the constructed building uh, card in the archive. So this goes in the archive. Uh, that's why. Um, so we progress that. And. Matter? Why are we progressing that? Because uh, the fucking thing told him to. Yeah. Use the charter stone, progress the thing. Persona. Um, uh, many crates cre uh, contain a new persona card. Uh, place it in your charter chest to use later. Haha, <laughs> his twin brother. That'll be short, Steve. Um, okay, so... Uh, and then, suggestion. Um, unlock at your own pace. There's a lot of information to digest, so take your time. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> okay, so... I mean, I assume they just go there for now, and then I can mm -hmm. build them. Yeah. Cool. 
with the Zeppelin. All right, my turn. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna go to the cave and get an iron. Yours. Wow. Quick wow. turns, crazy, right? Yeah, right. Go for it. <sighs> wow, quick turns, crazy, yeah, right? right? It's crazy to get five victory points and a objective card for just spending one influence. What's the quota track? Quota track? Where are you looking? Well, that's what it looks like. Ah, yeah, up there. Ah, right, okay, sure. <clears throat> Crowd port, interesting. So how does that work? What the hell? Quota track. So, the Forever King expects your village to support uh, support the greater good of Green Gully by sending resources, money, and other valuables back to the Eternal City. Mm-hmm. Uh, the cloud port or any building with a little handy symbol um, as the benefit allows a player to sell a uh, variable amount of one com- commodity to the general supply. Um, so we've got... Um, so cost... Uh, select one open space on the quota track to determine the type of quantity uh, of the commodity and pay that amount to the general supply, uh, placing one influence token on the corresponding space. So you choose... Um, yeah, okay. okay. Uh, and benefit, so you gain the indicated benefit, so three victory points on the on the cloud port, uh, some of, some of the spaces on the quota track include an additional option, uh, additional optional bonus, uh, plus one victory point, or plus one reputation. Right. And the vote is little reputation. Right. I'm going to go to the market to buy a fat pig. You're selling your pumpkin. You fucking criminal prick. I haven't even looked at those. What do they do? Whenever you go to the treasury, you can get one influence token back from the general supply. Yeah. I wanted it. Okay. What do the others do? Uh, whenever you go to the charter stone building, gain plus two victory points. Whenever you use the market, you may gain one reputation. I don't know. What's reputation, by the way? Boop, 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 boop. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, does that fill back up? Yes, immediately. What do we got? When you use the grand stone, you may gain one reputation. Grandstand. Whatever. Do these things stay with you? They probably would, wouldn't they? I mean, you can name them. Right. Yeah, and I believe they'll all go into your yep. little boxy thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to need lots of this stuff. Right here. Mm. Um, I'll take a grain, thank you. I'm going to do what James did. I'm going to take that one. What you do? Uh, when you use the, cloud, use the cloud port, gain plus one victory point. Uh, right. I mean, oh, sorry, and that means I go there and get the fuck off. Oh, yes! Oh, man! Perfect. <sighs> Thank you, I was going to use my That's turn to right. recall. That's alright, can you get me off the market now? Oh, no, you need to go to a thing, don't you? Wait, no, no go to the cave. No. And I'll go to the... Gu- if you go to the cave, I'll go to the garden. And we'll both get additional turns. Fuck over Damien because he unlocked the box early, so he's ahead. Or you could actually go there and unlock your own box. I can't. I don't can't. Have don't have the money. The money. Aww. Because then we could both sell. We could both go to the charter stones. We could keep loop, looping turns. You scratch me, I'll scratch you. It's a trade. I'm agreement. not sure you want to be doing any sort of scratching on him. No. <laughs> it's just a, it's it's simple <laughs> business. But I can do the same thing and fuck you over. I don't need you. You need me. So I need more from you. <laughs> yeah, look, fair enough. Like, you, you, the deal isn't helping me at all. It's helping you. Yeah, like, I'm wondering yeah, if there enough. is, like, a direct sort of trading thing. I don't believe there is. It doesn't look have like it. Off. I mean, we can give me, you can donate some resources I mean, to me at a later date. I mean, it's, it's a favour, right? Next time you need an action some form taken to screw over someone else or to help you more per I mean 
I need that in writing. Because I don't believe I'll, you're going to do just, it. Just I'll, do I'll, a I'll, turn. I'll give you a solid shake on it. Yeah, no, he's just going to... Right. He's just going to have... You're a monster. Fuck you. Um, Fair enough. And then my turn is picking these guys back up. And my turn is picking these guys back up. You're a tosser. <laughs> Actually, oh, the pumpkin! You guys, mm, do I want anything there? I mean, just farm that up and get a bunch of resources from the treasury, right? Yeah. I imagine you could only trade one at a time, though, like one action to. Your turn. I mean, I'm gonna get me some grain. Yeah, I'm gonna get me some iron. Actually, wait. What are you going to need after that? You're going to need wood or a pumpkin, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, so, shit, they're specific things. Yes. Is that iron? Is that what I'm producing? Uh, yes. All right, well, I'll, yeah, I'll go my Funnily iron. Funnily enough. Now. Oh, so you need two of what you, you are making and one of other things. Yep. So that's where it says you need four resources here, and then it's defined oh, you're on good, you're the right. actual yeah. card itself. Cool, James. Do I have victory points? Yeah, victory points are just for this game, right? Interesting. No. Because it's end of the campaign. Um. Hmm. And stars on the other side, end of the campaign. Yeah. Go for it, James Adesu. Stop being soft. Oh, yeah, they need to construct the other one. Okay. Come on, you giant silk. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Fair. He's gonna get him some crates. What's when you do? place a token on the reputation track, gain a victory point. <sighs> He's so a pirate. Yes, he is. Me and James are on exactly the same wavelength. Yeah, true. It's just that he gets all the benefits from it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, when you advance the progress token, gain a victory point. Oh, you took the other thing. Yep. Fuck. Yep. <laughs> Seeing as these stay in our inventory and I can unlock them at any pace, absolutely. Yeah, that was exactly my thought. Yep. Fuck. Well then... Keep pushing this up. Just get your more pumpkin. I'm trying to efficiently get turns. Yeah. You're a fucking monster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cruel how they just put one of everything else. Is there something that I don't need? Uh, oh, I don't need iron. True. No, it's just don't coal that I need. Coal. Eh. Come on. Because when the supply runs out, it runs out until someone puts it back. Oh my god, you get more advanced Persona cards. So I can be Granny Smith, Super Saiyan 1. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> so level two, up like Super Pokemon. Saiyan 3, Super yep. Saiyan Blue. Um, Chunk Funkanaut. Chunk Fong Funkanauta. <laughs> what? Um, the treasury, mm. is, it you can, is it one or is it as many as you want? One. One. Right? It is one? Yeah. Yes. What do these do? I don't even know what they do. Uh, over here? Yeah. That's no, right. No, up the top. At the top? Oh, right. Um, so, they are objectives. So, and that gives you... Um, okay. So, the Forever King monitors the village's progress from afar. 
Uh, determining your value in his all-seeing eyes. Fuck me. What a... <laughs> Probably not no. that way. Probably not that way. Absolutely <laughs> not. That is where I draw the line. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, so um, during I setup, didn't say uh, it, uh, uh, I so myself. use the grandstand or any building with the little targety symbol to complete uh, to score completed objectives. Um, uh, so you have to meet the thing. So you have to have at least six gold to yep. get that. Or um, so six gold. Uh, have at least three influence tokens in the quota track. Which is why I was asking. Yep. Um, and have at least two assistant cards. What are assistant cards? These. Assistant. Assistant. Assistants. Right. Okay. Ah, so me? No, 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 it's my turn. Oh, no, it's, it's my turn. turn. What is it? What? It's my turn, dude. Oh. I haven't done anything. Hurry up, then. I know, I'm taking ages. Good lord. I know, I know. Um, God damn, boy. Hmm. <laughs> well, now's when you start trading up into gold to Charterstone, right? Not yet. So what does the... What's the little... That, that's what you use to get them, mm -hmm. right? Yes, but mm -hmm. you have to meet the requirements. What? You have to you, so you can't account. just get that and keep it. No, you need to. As soon as you go there, you need to have one of the. That's yeah. Shit. Alright. Yeah, because I believe that these is going to a discard pile, um, right. because you don't hold onto them. Damien. Wheaties. Gimme. Thank you. Now you're just being inefficient and it annoys me. No, I'm not being inefficient. You are! Because I'm planning ahead. I refuse, you give it to him. <laughs> huh. I, yeah, I, I didn't realise it that pulled. Before. I didn't realise it pulled. Whenever you use the Zeppelin. Uh, I'm going to come over here and get a gold. Oh, I'm an idiot. Hold on. Uh, how do you mark reputation? You put one of these over there. Um, uh, so, how did you... Uh, whenever you use the marker... Yep, and then I got that after the fact. You gain one reputation. So, reputation is over here. But... Uh, because you have to... So I imagine there's only a certain amount of reputation that would be earned each game, and it what's, starts there, right? Question, what's the point of getting these? Um, Gets you five victory points. Yeah. But, like, is that it? Yes. Yeah. But you get five... If you go there and you don't do that, you still get that. Uh, yeah, that's an excellent point. What's the point of getting the objective cards? No, so you um, only get it yeah. if you meet the requirements and yeah. you put an influence token up there. Yep, so they don't change this game. And you can only score each of them once. Right, so yes, this would go there. Sorry. Yep. So, 
uh, you bought that and that flipped you to your turn. And your turn is... Uh, what? No. Yes, because you that went I, and bought the additional... That was pack. last turn. Uh, it's yeah, it hasn't you. been our turns yet. Uh, no, because I went to the treasury. Yeah, it's you. Oh, okay. That's me. All right, cool. Um, in that case... It is... Right, so it's best if I go... that, do that, go here, grab the pirate. Now, Sweet. I used the market so I gained a reputation, which I imagine would trigger before he hits the board, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay, sure. I would assume so. Yep, cool. I hope you keep these. I'd imagine you would, right? Your assistants? I would assume so, yeah. You would assume so. I hope so. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> you keep these, right? I'm not going for. Hope so! In, <laughs> overboard with these and just being like, oh no, you, you might get building. Um, cool. Oh, yeah. And so whenever we do one of those things, so we haven't missed any of those. No, we haven't missed any of those. We have a while before the game ends. This yes. game ends. Yeah. To be fair. Um, Go for a Kimasabi. Oh, I broke my meeples. That's nice. Interesting, 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 interesting. Um, uh, chunk of pumpkins. Farm, farm and pumpkins. Damien. Get your fucking maples off the board. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> the cloud port is over there. Grandstand. Advance the progress token. Whenever you use the Zeppelin. What's the Zeppelin? Zeppelin is to build buildings. Yes. Right? Whenever you use the Zeppelin. This is just to determine first play. I'll probably have some more uses later, surely. You know, I might go here, spend that and that, grab her, which triggers that, which then triggers a victory point, and gives me that. Cool. Do your thing. Go, James. <laughs> <laughs> that little one's not good. Call it. Instead of chunk funkin', it's funk chunkin'. Give me money. <laughs> Thank you. So you're just gonna farm uh, money up now. Grandstand. Put that. There, which gets me five victory points. One, two, three, four, five. Which gets me one victory point. Because, no, one reputation because of her. Which gets me one victory point because of him. The rep engine begins. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Shut up, dog. Uh, you're sending him. And the loop of pumpkins begins. Pumpkin stack, pumpkin stack, does whatever a pumpkin stack does. Money! Money, money! 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 Yours. I grabbed my dudas. You gonna keep hitting up money? Oh, thank you. Okay. Um. Hey. Oh, we're out of cards there. Yep. But game ends. <laughs> I win. <laughs> um. So what are we looking at? We're looking at the little starry thing, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. So during the campaign, several different types of cards. Blah, blah, blah. Gaining cards. Replenish. doesn't say you end the game or refresh no, or anything just yep. yeah that's okay. just what's available in the first couple of days of our village okay uh whenever you advance progress to who game on you need that Ooh, 
Okay. Um, I might go to market to market to buy a fat pig. Mm -hmm. um, and I will grab little Zeppelin dude. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go to the field. <gasps> yep. Um, I will grab this little dude. I, mean, I, just can't I will grab the food. Can't want to grab the last. <laughs> Sorry? Assistant. Hmm. No reason for anyone else to go to the market. Which means I'll be wasting at least one turn. And I think I'll let him have that. Okay, so what else you actually do? Cloud port, Cloud gain port. of a victory point. Which I need to. Um. Can multiple people finish those? It's not yes. just one person. Yes. yes. Uh, you can only finish each thing once. Right. Yes, so I could potentially do that one as well. Now, uh, when you did this, did you put the one that you spent on there? Yep. It's literally there. Yep. No, no, yep. I was just making sure that you weren't putting it off no, to it. No, no, no. Side. Yep. Cool. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to go... Steal me some pumpkin. You're going to put up with that. Yeah. You're going to tolerate that. You can have it. Sure. Right. Feels good. He's just buying my pumpkins anyway. Food. Uh. Brick. Thank you. Good. Still don't understand how you achieve that. I have at least three influence tokens. Why not? I, I don't understand how the quite a choice. Stop it with the coins! Um, I don't understand how quite sure so it, it just means that if you go, I'm going to pay um, one of one resource mm -hmm. and put something there, or you can pay two of one resource and you get the victory point as well as those three victory points as well. Right. Um, and then uh, if you put a marker on it, no one else can claim it, so that's why you'll want to be getting oh. those certain spaces first. Right. Okay. Sure. Okay. So we up to James. Yep. Yeah, he's just deciding what he wants to do. Okay. He wants some bricks. I mean, they're great for making houses, especially if there's wolves in the yeah. neighborhood. I'm going to draw little wolves everywhere around here. Ah, that's for me. You don't. Oh, never mind. You're going to unlock your factions one? Yeah. Cool. So, Uno! One, so 22 and 23 and 219. 22, 23, 2, 1, 9. Two twenty three, two one nine. Two one nine. Oh, you get little dude. I love how you picked it without him. Unbelievable, <laughs> unfriggin' believable. I'm pretty proud of myself, honestly. All right. Um, Where does this go? Um, Into that... the archive. Food. 
Um, snap at wait, all the fruit. Hey, hey. What? I get a turn. I was oh, just sorting out turn. all of his well, nonsense. True. And this up. goes okay. in there. Um. Good. Huzzah! The system works. Yay. <laughs> Does it? Where's my other dude gone? You don't need Damn. it. Damn it. Food. Food. <laughs> Food. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a minute. Food. Give me that last one. <laughs> Fuck. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, cloud port. Spending three of that. Three food goes back into the supply. Yep. Three food goes back into the su supply. Yep. One of your influence goes in there. You're getting the reputation. There, which means... So I have to put another one over there? Um, I believe that gaining reputation is optional, is what I saw in one of them. Oh, really? Um, but I mean, it's a pretty good thing to have. Um, so how many slots are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I need to own six... To lock in first place on that. Cool. Yeah, so... Oh, you... this also goes up. Because I... Uh, yes. yes. And what do you get from it? I think you get a reputation. Yes. Oh, sick. Well. Cool, no one can beat me now. Uh, someone can tie me, though. Yeah. On the right. Um, okay. So, I... Oh. Wait, what's my turn? He just went. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Go yep. Do you need more food? More grain? I mean, this, that's what I... Are do you getting guys? more grain? We're going... can do. So I'll give, you, I'll give you your meal back if you give me mine. Yes? Or no? But I, I would say yes, and then I would immediately place my meeple somewhere else, because I don't need more grain at the moment. You don't need more grain? No. So the answer is He no. only needs the four. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna what go, do you need? He's going to go either wood or coal. Yeah. Wood or coal. Or he's just going to go build now. Just build now. Fuck it. How about I do neither? I'd take both oh, these back. right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Excellent point. It's uh, my turn, Riley Dingus. Uh, Riley so what's that, then? Uh, that's cards. So you have to sack cards? What are we looking at? We're looking at that. Quota. Is it just you have to have that amount of cards? Oops, I got seven victory points for that. Um, how did you get that many? Plus two. Right. Cloud port, cloud port, cloud port. Surely you wouldn't have to sack cards. Um. I mean, that's the quote track stuff there, but... It... To the general supply. So these would go back. I don't think so. What? If you do the cloud port to get these, they would go back. Hmm? Because that requires these cards. So it would require me to spend one of these and put it back into the general supply. Alright, okay. Cool. James. Do you need more of that? Yeah. He's just going to sell the dog. It's all he wants. But yes, he does. He does? Oh, uh, actually, well, I, prob I might not go back there. Oh, I probably won't go back there. 
Mm. The reason I'm doing this is so that you will eventually kick me off that spot. Then I can go somewhere else without wasting a turn. Yeah. Essentially. Thank you. Thanking you. And I will take a call. Coel, Coel. You gonna return the favor? You so need lumber, I right? grab that, which gets me a reputation, meaning I have first place on that, and I get a VP because I've gained a reputation. Um. No, I don't need Lumbar. Oh, I've used that twice. I meant to go one, two, three, one, two, three. Right, it's worth three each time. Okay. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm um, grab Ben. Sure. I'm just gonna go grab me some iron. Go for it. Okay, I'm a Zeppelin, mm-hmm. yep. and I'm going to make me... This oh god, yeah, what does that mean? Sorry? Uh, that, I believe, we don't have a rule for yet. Okay. Oh, can we double check? Yeah. Because It looks like it take another turn. Um, just wait, before we move all that, let's do this all in order, because I have lots of stuff that's going to be happening now. Okay. Um, so, I, I will need to be... Um... Oh, you get five victory points. Yep. Until then, until we get something called income. Oh, ignored. so you... oh, okay. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna make this. Um, now I believe this stays with me. Yeah. Why would it stay with you? Because you because can still put it oh in. yeah uh, and then right can... you haven't unlocked the crate sorry yeah. Riley, you're a monster. What are you putting that there? Uh, I th- Is that okay? That's the right zone. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's my stuff. Put it where I like. Thank you. Um. Cool. And so. Oh, right, that in, is it. You are grain. Mm-hmm. Yep. In doing that, I get five victory points yep. because I built something. Mm-hmm. Um. Then whenever I visit the zeppelin, I get two. Nice. In, oh yeah. Um, now I progress this, and because I progress that, I get an extra one. Nice. Cool. Okay. Uh, and I will get rid of that, and that, and that. Feels. You're building up to a charter stack. And surprise, surprise, I'm doing that again. So let's no get rid surprise. of those. Um... And yes, I'm building up to charge so. <laughs> Place this down. Um. Okay, and so I gain five two points. Not me. Not you. Not you. That's um. You. So five, and then I get one, two, an extra one. Yep. And this goes up. That's the two-player mark. Yep. Okay. Cool. Mine. Mm-hmm. I am. So me. Yep. 
Uh, I will be... What do I need with that? Money. Money, 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 money. The thing is, I don't have any way to get these back, but... Oh, uh, well. Right? Um, yeah, and I'll get a money and a wheat baggy thing. Anyone else want money in wheat bags? Yes. Quite a bit. Especially seeing as mine are refundable. Oh my god, that's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I mean, you can have them back. And I'll grab some of that stuff too. Some. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> you can't steal it for good. Oh, God. Um, well, I mean, I'm doing that. Food. Money. Thank you. Thank you. Have you been placing your things? Uh, I will need to that time. Because two, and then we've had three rounds of this. Good job, James. You're a monster. I know. Sorry. I... yeah. I really like that iron at the moment. <laughs> You're putting a real big monopoly on that iron. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, so that means... <sighs> Your bastard's gonna need it eventually. Sorry, it's my turn. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing exactly what I'm doing. Two, please. But not quite so smartly. What? Okay. Oh, I'm not doing it as efficiently because I don't have the reputation uh, left to spend. So, two. 43, 44. You're saying I'm not doing it as smartly? No, I'm not smartly? doing it as cleverly. But I don't have the influence um, So, uh, yeah, so that is crate number two, right? Yep, yeah, crate number two. 43, 44. We keep these between games, correct? I, I, I would imagine so. Because, so. I mean, you, you are putting down a... Ooh. Is Fish, that... Fish, oh. and yeah, character as well. Yep. Uh, 233. I wonder if in loaded games you pick a different persona. Right? Probably. Like you can pick one and they give you bonuses. Okay. Well, I mean, I've unlocked mine. Yeah. After you... Uh, and that goes. Um, yeah. So yeah, it, it might just be that I, um, I can use him instead. Yeah. I think is the way it goes. You're up, Damien. Okay. Um. So you're gonna be a mean little turkey, aren't you? Because I got five there. So that means. Wow, he just called you a turkey. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> I'm giving him his thing back. No, um, you guys I'll, keep, keep giving I'll me my thing back. Uh, and I'll take a monies. Thank you. You guys keep giving me my thing back. Mm. Time to cash in, Riley. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I get seven exactly victory points for doing. that. I hope you're cashing in for a while, too. <laughs> okay. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Just gave you some victory points. It's nice. 
Three. Three? Three, 58 to 59. Nine. Mm -hmm. And two fifty eight. Oh, do Shablam. That's not right. Okay. And you progress the Oh, I should have done that twice. Yes. So I get another reputation. Yes. Oh, what? And now you're locked into third. Um, so, actually, is... Because that's, that's giving you a building. It's not building something. What? Yeah, no, so, after you use... Crate. So, yeah. Um, but it's, it's when it's a cost, I think, instead of a... Um, what? Uh, so over here, uh, no, for the progressing, and it's the reputation there right. that's getting Yeah, that. yeah. Um, oh no, because that's the building thing. No, all good. Try no, go. I, I, I yeah, thought that, right. I thought that was the building symbol. No. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, gents. I'm enjoying this game far more than I anticipated I would. Yeah. Um, so up to me. Uh, no, you just had a turn. He just Did had a turn. turn. I don't know. Fucking hell. Come on. I was getting all his stuff. Um, okay. That's right, you're going to the treasury to cash stuff in, right? Um, so, no, right. I'm, I'm coming over here. Monster. Um, because I have six of that. Um, and I will... Uh, that, and that gives me... Five, right? Uh, five, and then I get an extra one because I progressed the track. Twenty-seven. Go. Cool. Sure. Go. Okay. He's gonna do that again. No, he can only earn that once. No, no, but he can do the other one. No, he can't. He has two. Oh, two assistants. Yes, that's true. Thank you. See if he is. Um, oh, you're on the bloody chart stay anyway. Because <laughs> I could do either of those. Yeah. Um. No. Uh. Hmm. I won't go there because I'm feeling a little bit bitter. Um. I will take a money. You know that I need at least one more. <laughs> money. Money, 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 money. Um, I will... I have lots to do. Mm. I need you. to catch the fuck up. Um. Oh, I will do that. Spend that. Get a gold. And I will get a reputation because I need something on that track. <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm just sitting here like doing my thing. You two are like fucking battling it out for the resources and just. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. Mining the iron oh. and then selling it. And then selling it. And then selling it. Mining all the iron and then selling it. 
Hurry up, Danny. Okay. Um, I'm going to go over here. So, that... Uh, oh, no, sorry. That gets spent on having those. Uh, I get five. That goes up one, and so I get an extra one. So I get six. So I go up to 33. Mm -hmm. And... I'm done. You done? I'm gonna go over here, so two influence and one, two, three, four gold. Um, and that will allow me to get I'm gonna go forty eight, it's a high number. Um so ah. He's so OP. Wait, what? Read second. 33 asterisks. There are multiple ways to unlock this. Um, gain one at random. Oh, no. Uh, there are multiple ways to unlock this. Okay. So, see instructions 34 and 332. Uh, okay, so I get... We're not fighting each other at the moment. Huh? Yeah, so that'll be... That will come in when the, ga when the campaign is finished and we're fighting. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I think this is what you start with. What? So, at the end of the game, you use 10 victory points to get one of these, and you start with one resource, or one gold, or one, or three victory points. Uh, it would have been something that would have mentioned in the rules that we went over. Yeah, it'll, it'll be later. It'll be extra. So, 48. Think... No, because each of them is just worth 10 victory points at the end of the campaign. I'm sure there'll be a... Uh, Damien. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, maybe not. I'm sure there'll no, be a large... Be wrong, be wrong. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a large section... On all of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, just in terms of this, um, so crate story rules thirty three. Do I just need to find? Yeah, I that think you card? just pull out all those cards, right? So thirty three, and you need fucking thirty four and three thirty two. Yeah, but it uh, says to do it in order. Yeah. Ah, so. Right, cool. So I've unlocked more rules for everyone. Oh. Uh, due to the village's rapid expansion, extra help is needed. You recruit some minions from the area. Whenever a new type of minion is unlocked, the unlocking player gains one of those minions. Unclaimed minions of that type are kept on their reference card um, in the general supply. Uh, a minion of that type... Uh, a minion is a type of worker that you may place only on unoccupied buildings in your charter. Um, all cards that refer to workers apply to both regular minions and minion, uh, regular workers and minions. Um, any player may place a regular worker on a building occupied by a minion. Unlike other workers, minions cannot be bumped. They stay on the building until you choose to retrieve all your workers. All minions you control uh, on and off the board are considered to be in your personal support. Oh, no. Wow. So you unlocked an additional worker that can only work on those three buildings. Mm -hmm. um, but can't be bumped off. Can't be bumped. That's still so useful. 
Uh, but where, where is my worker? Uh, I imagine uh, I... now you pull those cards and I'll tell you to open probably one of these boxes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Because they'll be the tiny little cubes. We saw uh, the so that was 33. Latest, so 34. Yep, yep. okay, here we go. So, minion quota. Affix this sticker, um, uh, which has the... five columns instead of six, to the bottom of the quota track on the game board, then place this card in the archive. So that's under it's there. It's an additional thing for the quota. So you'd have to sacrifice your minions. Oh, that's cool. You're a cult leader. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, I mean... Does Do that mean that me there's play? lots of them? No, <laughs> probably. I got this. I got two. Um, now, this does only go... Good, good. There? Yep. 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 Oh, I even lined it up with the edge of the board! Oh, oh dude, nice! Yeah. Oh, dude, that was a good stick. Yep, even though I was like, I can't say what I'm doing! <laughs> okay. A okay, so that stick. is 34. Um, so, uh, so that's where there's multiple ways to unlock this. So if we come across it again, it's yep. just already done. Um, okay. Uh, and 332. Ooh. Ha. <laughs> ha. They're not in the right place. Oh, well. Okay, they're numbered. We can't fuck it up. Yeah. Challenge we can, accepted. We can and we will, but... So, 332. <gasps> I oh my chef. god, you got a chef! That's adorable! <laughs> what? Look at him! <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, so whenever you place a chef on an opponent... Uh, or an opponent, or an opponent uses, uses your, chef's your chef's building, building uh, you may regain one influence. Chicken soup for the soul is considered a legitimate medical practice in Green Gully. What the fuck? Okay, um... So you just set up your chef to guard your most important building. And gain your right influence now. back through it. What the fuck? Okay, but, uh... Place a chef or an opponent uses your chef's building. I don't have the chef's building, so I assume that that's... So... Um, it's going to be one of these ones that I pull out now. So 118 and 333. So 333. Right. Okay. Uh, whenever you retrieve workers, gain two victory points if you retrieve at least two chefs. Right, so that's a different persona, a restaurateur uh, rather than the farmer. Yeah. Okay, uh, so 333 and 118. Bakery! And gets you a minion, but what's the minion piece? No, you haven't built it, you haven't built it. Don't pull the sticker off. Mm, but I want it. Oh, that's that's cool. Okay, so... Okay, so you've, unlo you've unlocked the chef class. Alright. Yep. So, Persona goes back in there. Um, I need to stick this rules in the book. God damn, that was make a, a spicy unlock. meatball. Alright, is it my turn? Because you did that. So it's my turn, isn't it? So while you go sticking books. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go... Here. Put that there. Get one, two, three, four, five. And progress. Get it right. That literally fucks the whole game plan. Yep. Uh, sh is that may gain a rep or must gain a rep? On the track. Uh, I believe it's... Um, uh, 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 no, I think I saw it before. Reputation was optional.
doesn't appear to be. Then no, I won't do that action because that's retarded. It's better I do... Oh, sorry. Um, When I placed that, was I supposed to... Yes, that's this why this worked. Yeah. You gained the rank, not me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, that yeah, goes yeah, up there. Yeah. So, I do that, um, and I place him there. And I also um, gain one victory point because I progress the track. Yep. Sweet. Uh, whenever I use the grandstand, I may gain one reputation, so no thank you, because I can't anymore. Yep. Are you, no, you're not out of reputation. Yeah, actually, there... There's only one place oh, okay. left on the track. Cool. Yep. Go for it. James? All yours. I think, just to make sure he doesn't... Oh, shit, I can't because I don't have any rep. Oh, do you have any rep? You don't have any rep. I got one. Influence. Yeah, fuck. Bullshit. Uh, yeah, no, that, that screwed me over. Nice. Yeah. So you want to win that, do you? Can't. Well, you could spend three gold. Go to the cloud port, get three victory points, spend three gold, get a rep. Which you've got in your grubby little hands. Or, uh, oh no, I took the three resources. Um... Yeah, the th I can't because I don't have a rep to put there. Oh, so you're out of rep? Yeah. Influence. But uh, influence? It just means um, you can't take those actions. Uh, uh, oh shit, is there something that happens? No, you just can't. Uh, and from then on, you must advance the progress token at the start of your turn. You don't have any influence right now. No. Nope. God damn it. So, um, it will end in... I can get my influence back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you can just go there and get an influence back. Could. Okay, then we can. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to go over here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do exactly what you were telling him. Spend three gold. Fuck. And that means he wins that. I will get that there. Um, now, so I get one, two, three. I get a reputation. Because I believe it needs to go in. Yes. Um... No, you have to be able to spend it. You had one reputation, though, right? Um, yeah, but it gets placed over there. Right, so you can't do it either. Yeah, no, you can't do it either. So mm -hmm. take three gold back. Mm-hmm. Peasant. I'll grab that. And um I'll grab him. And I will get me some wheat picks. Thank you. Yeah, Riley. Really. Two, three, four, five. Uh, no. Okay. Sure. And that means I unlock number five. Great five, please. Ah, great five. 
Um, so 88, 89, and 303. 88, 89. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, or $8. We are lame. <laughs> yep. Um, My turn? No, mine. Your turn. <laughs> oh, this progresses one because I built. Yep. And I'm going to end the game. Because I don't think I can come first and I don't want you to force me to come so oh wait you get 10 and I get 4 that's 6 difference so we'll tie no but hang on a second I'm just going to work this out <laughs> oh, so I get 5 from there and you get 6 more than me but I'm 1 ahead of you so we'll tie you get 1 from that but I get 2 from that no, these don't count. That's just what you gain. That's just a reminder for the condition. Like, you're getting two VP. Yeah, uh, and he, that, yep. he gives a reputation back. All right, okay. Yep. All right. So, we'll tie for second. I assume. Can we just make sure that these stay with us? I imagine they would. I can't see how yeah. they wouldn't. Yeah. Like, I mean, that would be such a... Like, Silly Such thing. a ganking to... Um... Oh, no, what I can't. <laughs> <laughs> thought so. <laughs> Fucking thought so. Uh, do you want your influence back? Oh, he took it back. Over. Okay. You want another one back? No, we want another one back. Damien! I pick up these guys, pick and sticks. this goes up one. What? I Why? Get, he has no I influence. I have no influence. Fuck me. <laughs> so, I lose. End game. Okay. God um, damn it. But, I mean, this is meant to be a progressive sort of thing, so you've got a whole lot to just kind of... Yep. Pick up and work with So, like, points. we'll earn victory points towards the, like, the grand victory. But you are in such a position to be like, I build this and this and this and this and this and this. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently unlock additional classes. Yeah. That's really cool. So, um, yeah, so that's just one of the excess building sorts of things. Yeah, but I need to right. build these the game ends. and then charter them. And the objective is each game is charter stone is to score the most victory points. That's literally all it says. So at the end of the game, the game ends. You get ten. I get she gets seven. I get four. So first, second, third. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. It's a fairly even spacing. But what's all this? What's this? What's this? There's white things in here. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? This isn't fair. What's this? Like, what capacity? What capacity? What are, what are you talking about? What stars? What's glory? What's capacity? What's... So we're a little lost as to what happens when the game ends. It doesn't tell you to pack all your stuff into the thing. It doesn't... Have a look at the rule book?
What number is the chef? 332. You get another turn, Riley. Do I? What? Finish the round. Each player takes the same number of turns. Right. Yep. Cool. Get another turn. All right, so you've had one, and I get one. Okay. Okay. Can I catch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven victory points somehow? I seriously doubt it. I'm going to the cloud port, which gets me three. Spend that, which gets me four. Using her, which gets me five. Which doesn't win me the game. <laughs> Damn. Eh? I might as well, just in case it like gets me something. So that goes there. That goes there. I go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, fuck, that's close to everything. Um... Well, I mean, victories. Um, so I assume that that's just... Yeah, well, you've got a victory under yeah. your belt. That's fine. It's everything else we're confused by. Capacity. Each capacity is worth one of three victory points at the end of the game. I'd assume that... It's who has the most at the end of the game? <sighs> when you no done? other rule book or anything? Um, only the Orshma. Can I have a look? See? Is it on the front, maybe? Even? No. Maybe it's literally just we pack up our stuff and, like, we have we keep what we have, but you win this round? Mm. But everything else has been so specific in terms of saying where we put our stuff. Mm. Uh, um, maybe that card which said don't stick me in the rule book. Does that have stuff on ending the game? Well, I... Uh, yeah. Awkward place to put it. <coughs> like, do we keep our money and our re or our resources? Right, where's card 13? Did we not pull out card 13? Extract card 13 from the index. An important part of game one is players to is for each player to use the charter stone building. This will let you unlock your crate. Showing a construction card. Review the steps for now begin the game. After the first crate is unlocked. <laughs> extract card 14 from the index. <sighs> okay. Um, because they're mobility and flexibility, Zeppelins are a standard way of constructing buildings in the Green Gully. Um, campaign, the numbers shown below the building, question mark, get three points, the end of, at the end of the, the campaign. campaign. Yeah. So this is teaching us about the end of the campaign now. So uh, each building is worth fi uh, its victory points, so that number at the bottom of it. At the end of the camp campaign. Yeah. Not each day. Yep. Campaign. Yep. So but then we go on to fifteen. Yep. Um. Uh, yeah. So this is for the additional persona cards. Uh, during setup, you may select any persona card from your charter chest. Keep it face up. Um, so yeah. So you yep. you just you pick. pick a class for the day. Um, each marked persona is worth five to seven victory points at the end of the campaign. Um, ours don't. Uh, you'll be told to mark your persona at the end of the game if you used it. Um, if you unlock a persona card during the game, place it in your charter chest. Uh, keep all persona cards from uh, game to game. Okay, so that's 14, 15. And then we go to 16. Okay, so continue playing until you get to the finish rounds. Remember that uh, if you run out of influence tokens during the game, you must advance progress token. Yep. Uh, players will carry over all components to their personal supply and gain uh, from game one to game two. Wait, so all of this stays as well? Yeah. Sick. Wait, what? Your resources, your coins, it all goes in your little baggie. Uh, place this card uh, at the bottom Does right that mean of the that game stays board. stays out? No. Huh? They stay there? No. 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 Um, no. 
Uh, place this card at the bottom right of the game board uh, on the guide post slot, uh, then refer to the next paragraph when the final turn is taken in game one. After game one, extract card 17 from the index. Um, place this card in the archive without removing the sticker. Okay. Without removing the sticker, yep. I've got a ar uh, the archive, archive there. pile there. Okay, so 17. Okay, um, so when we get to the little endy thing, um, in player order, get in player order, gain victory points for the reputation. Um, Done that. Yep. yep. So each player gains glory, the little gold stars, uh, right, based yeah. on the position on the VP track. Um, so. Oh yes, yeah, so I just achieved another star. Oh, okay. Cool. So I just that... achieved another star as well. So you guys only got one more star than me. Yep. So, so what we get? where do those stars one, two, go? Okay, so, uh, all right. So every ten gives you a star, by the way. Ooh. Each player g gains one glory based on VP track. You guys get one more star than me. Oh, wait, no. There's a specific... Oh, wait, no. No. Gain one glory. Would it be the extra? Um. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So glory up the top, and that's all. Yeah, of that. but which one do you put it in? Um. In the victory point symbol, but why would it show a three? Uh. I, I still, I still think what I'm saying, it what I was saying, is right. What? Can I have it? Uh, yeah. No, I think it might be this one because it is the track on the outside is that the last card is that is it, is it telling you to no, pull more no there's more so maybe yeah actually pull, pull all the end game cards out and yep. we can go through after that um gather all your player pieces you will carry over all components from your personal supply from game one resources cards etc so you'll gather all your player pieces which would be these as well okay yeah i'm glad um, i spent all of it then <laughs> yeah yeah at least uh, just remember, because I get three stars, you both get four stars. Yep. Yeah, well, I mean, we get that back. From that. And being uh, the highest is not necessarily winning. It's just being getting as many stars as you can. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, I think it's just that I get the victory yeah. tick. So come on. Also that. Card 19. Um, 19? Oh, it skips one. Yep. Uh, apparently so. At the end of game 2 through 12, your capacity will determine the oops, sorry. Your capacity will determine the number of components in your personal supply that you may keep. Oh. Okay, so we get to keep everything for now, mm -hmm. but next game it's uh it's right. uh, we can have 1 to 3 for each yeah. uh, thing that's scrubbed in. Right, card 20. Card 20. Guideposts offer a goal for any number of players to achieve. The current guidepost is kept face up on the board and is processed at the end of the game. Some guideposts have temporary rules for the current game. At the end of the game, many players who have achieved guideposts gain one glory. Among those players, the player with the most influence tokens in their personal supply reveals the options for the guidepost. Player, that player chooses one option. So they open... Yeah, so we don't have any guideposts yet. yet. So, 21. 21. Uh-oh. Extract card 400, your first guide post from the index, and read the exposed text. If you're ready, play game two now. Reset the board and mats, tokens, then return stuff. Stop. Leave this card at the front of your index for the entire campaign. 400? Oh, is that a scratchy? Is that a scratch? Is that a scratchy? <laughs> yeah, there are scratchy. It's a scratchy! It's a, um, it's it says to go back at the front of the index for the rest of the campaign. Um, it says reveal the text. Uh, so... Uh, sorry, it's this card. Huh? Um, and raise the exposed text. Okay, my bad. So what? It... So read the exposed text. Um, so you're going to need a wealth of coins and resources to build the village, but be careful, everything in excess of your capacity must be returned to the general supply the end of the game. Keep this card face up on the board 
at the end of game two, uh, before any of the game uh, end in game two. steps, uh, follow the guidepost rules to award uh, glory and reveal the following options. Um, I mean, is that for the next game? Yes, for the next game. Okay, but I mean, where do we put that for now? Before the stop in the index, maybe. Uh, where are we looking? Twenty. Uh, where does it say to grab the 400? I mean, but surely we need to leave that there until game two, right? We need to finish off all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Just, like, put that there and put that in front of it because that's going to be pulled out anyway, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So So let's look at the back of this. So we right. gain one glory for each of these. And so it's it's, it's gotta be the track. Well, right? I mean that's that's listed in here. Um Is it though? You can get golems! Yep. And cats. Uh Golems would probably be my one. No right? no 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 iron? dude. Clay. Oh Clay. true. What would be iron? Robot. Oh my god, I get robots. What do I get? Your purple, so cats. But I mean, from the sounds of it, um... Oh no, it's... Yeah, okay, cool. Um... Oh, dude. You know how you unlock them? By shifting off these? Like, the second level? Yes. So I'm gonna get three. Because I got three different... So I'm gonna get... The black one, the purple one, and the green one. So you're gonna get ghosts, because there's no black one. The butlers and the cats. And I'm gonna get robots and golems. So I've got red. Okay. Um, yeah, I I mean I don't wanna make the make an assumption, but that's that's the only thing. Um Doesn't yeah. say anything about starting the next game? No. No. Where, it, just says, go, it, says... it just says go back to setup. Yeah, so I mean, uh, this is before the next game. This is us marking our... So, our like, things. how do you get that one? Do I get that one because I won it? Capacity, guideposts, end of game, glory. And that sent us to 18. Wait, no, didn't we not pull out 18? Okay. At the end of the game, gain one glory per ten victory points. Yep. Earned that game. Wait. At, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, sure. Yeah. Mark those stars on your character chest. You choose which stars to fill in. Yep. At the beginning of each game, every completed row of glory grants you the listed bonus. Oh! Well, yeah. So this is like a stacking buff that you want to complete. You may select and use one extra persona. You gain one resource, one dollar, and three victory points to start a game. Yeah, oh, that's just whatever it's saying. God damn. So, if you did that one at the start of the game, you'd grab an advancement card. That's kind of cool. Um, now, so where... So... I was at 30, one, you guys are at 40. Two, three. So yep. we're getting four of those yes. stars. I'm getting three of those stars. Now, do they have to all be placed in different ones? Nope. Or is this wherever we want? Wherever you want. Wow. What do I want? What's the little dot? 
Ah, uh, that's how you get the extra capacity. Yep. That's a lot to get the extra capacity. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I want the advancement cards. Yeah, you know what? Mind you, minions would be really useful, but I haven't unlocked a minion yet. Mm. But yeah, I'll probably like, unlock a minion next game, right? Yeah. All I like, need to I mean, do is get all cards on the table while we're just discussing this. I'm looking at doing minions just because I've got the shadow. Yeah. And he seems pretty awesome. Advancement seems pretty cool because you can start building combos, though, right? Mind you, yeah. we've got no cards in our advancement pool. What do you mean, no cards now? There's no cards there. And more get unlocked, I imagine, through this general supply stuff, right? Yeah. So, like, if I complete 40, we're adding 310 to the general supply. What thing did you do to unlock him? Was that meant to go to the general supply? Uh, I didn't use any of the stickers from those, so I had 48. No. No, so nothing went to the personal supply. Um, but tuck bo Oh! Ooh. You are oh, okay. meant to open this. And that's where the minions will be. There you are. Ha. Oh. I'm so bad at this. Watch them next I time. I get to open this. Okay, fine. I'm so bad at this. Oh. It's all the little meepers. Yeah. Oh, ah, they're so cute! <laughs> oh my god, is that my fucking robots? And the butlers? That's sick. That's... Oh my god. Okay, the chefs look like little cowboys. Sick. Okay, so, well, I mean, these go into the other box. Quick question. Right. Yep. Do you have to build the thing before you destroy it to get the crate? I think so. I believe so, so yes. You can, can you say that? Yes. Um, that is one of the things that I remember from the tutorial. Um, that are talking about, uh, like, gaining crates from built buildings. Um... On one of your constructed building cards. Okay, so I have to build all this shit first. Yes. Cool, so we're all resource rushing next game to just build our fucking tier 3s, right? And get our minions. But, like, your resource rush. Huh. My resource rush. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've still got that as well, so. I'm gonna need... Three or four of everything? Five of every four, five. So I'm gonna need five pumpkin, three five wheat. coal, th six wood, three wheat, three iron. So what Two you're saying brick. is we're getting a lot of turns from you. You don't know what I'm going to. Sure we don't. So does anyone have thirty one crate thirty one? Uh, crate thirty one. No. no. Does anyone have crate thirty nine? No. Why I are do. you looking at this? Because that gets us lots of, like, cards to our general supply, which is what is interesting me. Right. 47? Anybody? I'm 47. Low ones, dude. That's important for general supply. Okay, so it's just because I did 48 instead of 47. Yeah. Um, so we have no cards there. So, yeah, I might do minion. Because you get a minion at the start of the game. Because how else do you get minions? Uh, I mean, didn't we get a minion card? Um, oh, so I get a minion... When I place a dude right. on oh, here. Yeah, anybody. Anybody can get a yes. chef. Yep. Right, so it's buildings gets your minion, mm -hmm. but that would also get you a minion at the but start. But anyone of the game. can get minions. Yes. You just need to go into that. How much is it? Two, Two gold. gold. Get your victory point and a minion. Worth it. Worth. Absolutely, 100% worth. Especially if you grabbed like. A capa like two gold capacity upgrades and you walked into every game with so, two gold. So, that will did, also me. give me a little doobalacky back. Whenever you get those. Yep. What, really? Yes. So, uh, whenever you place a chef or an opponent uses your chef building, you may regain one influence. Yeah, whenever you place a chef. Not when we place a chef. Or an opponent chef. uses your chef's building. Yep. So, to so when you go to get a chef, oh god, I get Ew. one back. No, he's absolutely, he's absolutely correct. No, isn't the chef's building the one your chef is on? No, no. It's that one. I still need okay. to make it, okay. so I still don't have access to it. No one does. But... Yeah. So minions or advancement card? Okay. I feel like if advancement cards are going to be so few and far between, I almost want that. I think I'm changing my mind on what I want to be. What are you going to get? Um, so, 
Uh, I mean, James, are you open to just kind of like general discussion in terms of what we want? Wait, you know what? Or we should we yeah. should probably I wrap am... up the video first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's I just about it. Competitive as hell. And I'm not doing. <laughs> <laughs> Since when did our roles switch? <laughs> like, of course I'm happy for it. I'm okay, sure. well, that was Charterstone. That was weird, but way more fun than I expected. Yeah, like, there's so much to think about and decide. I love, I love, I love the bouncing. Yeah, how you, how you can force other people to bounce your meeples yeah. or do yeah. in efficient plays. So, I mean, it still feels a little bit weird to be placing so many stickers, but I do see why they do it. Mm. Um, in terms of that it does kind of force you to um, work your way through them. It does force you to look at the damn sticker, read the yep. rule. We still failed. We still failed that. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of text that we're going over. Yeah, and I, I, yeah I think that... Okay. All just, right. But, I mean, it wasn't breaking. No. Um, no. It, it almost broke like, the, the end. fuck do we do at the end? And then it was like, oh, right, these right, 17 we were, cards yeah. that we didn't look yeah. at. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll probably uh, have a second episode out shortly. Yeah, hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been given Dispersus Games. Catch you later.